Hey everybody, it's Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak. Today we're going to do some muscle testing for cervical flexors. These are muscles that tend to get inhibited uh, from our posture all day, car accidents, etc. So we're going to do uh, scalene's anterior part. So you do is you bring your head up, you tell them to bring your eyebrow, top of your eyebrow towards your shoulder. So your hand is behind it, you maintain it, hold it there, one, two, relax. So my right hand is always supporting the neck just in case, you'll be surprised how many people can't hold that. So we did anterior, now we'll do medial scalene. So we turn the head a little bit this way, we bring the eyebrow to shoulder, and we hold, one, two, and relax. Good. Then we do sternocleidomastoid, so you turn the head to do the right one, bring your head towards the ceiling, hold it up there, hold. Good. And we do both sides. I'm going to show you the one side. If we want to do the deep cervical flexes, longest coli, we bring the head up, keep the head chin down a little bit, maintain it there, only pull it back down, hold, two, three, good. And if you want to get the deep upper cervical flexors, we have them like that, and we try to hold your head there, we try to roll them back, which was a little tough for Donis. So that could mean that his muscles in the back are pretty tight, inhibiting the muscles in the front. So every time we find some, a weak muscle, we want to say, hmm, why is that muscle weak? So go over them quickly. So uh, anterior scaling, good. Hold it there. Middle scaling, good. Turn your head this way. SCM, good. Cervical longus coli, lower, lower part of the neck. Good. Come back down. Tuck your chin down. Good. Hold your head there. Don't let me pull your forehead backwards. Hold it there two, three, and relax. And those are muscle tests for the cervical flexors. Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak.